welcome back to the channel happy monday happy christmas season uh season's greetings everything like that you all it is four days sorry four days till christmas like when did this happen like i cannot i just can't this crazy person that is here with me i can't believe we are like four days until christmas like christmas is this friday so have you all finished cleaning have you all finished like getting yourselves together you all got all your gifts you all went grocery shopping everything like that <laughs> and i be fed up of it all girl hmm. we, we're getting there but we're not done yet okay but this week everything has to be done asap asap so thank you so much for joining me it's vlogmas 21 Vlogmas day 21. They know what I mean. Okay, so for today's video, I don't want to be rambling too long and I'm gonna to have to do it into a voiceover because right about now my neighbor is acting a little stupid and screaming to the top of her lungs, but we'll talk about that another time. Um so we are going to be doing like the title says, we're gonna be giving this wig a little bit of color. This is my Afro Kinky AliExpress wig. 16 inch, yeah, as you could tell. This wig was, I think it was Vlogmas Day. I can't remember for sure, but I'll leave all of the Vlogmas days in the description box down below. But I installed this wig, like, I think the first week of Vlogmas, and I also did an eye look with a cute little yellow dress by the Christmas tree. <laughs> yes, girl. So that is the same wig. So I'm just gonna be throwing a little bit of bleach into it because I wanted to kind of spruce it up a little bit. All of my wigs are basically the natural color, so I need to kind of, you know, give it a little zhuzh just to have something a little bit different. So uh, let's go. Okay, so things have kind of quieted down a little bit, thank God. So uh, for today's video, I'm gonna be using some bleach. I have the BW2 from Clairo. You all cannot believe I actually found these products while I was cleaning. I don't have my busted um, gloves, but I just poked my finger through and boom, I just ripped. Whatever, as long as it gets the job done. So to protect yourself, you should probably use your gloves, mosquito will get away. So while I was cleaning, I found these. I knew I always had them, and like I just couldn't find them, and I was just like, you know what, whatever. So we are about to throw some of that bleach with that 40 volume developer because I wanted to get not super, super light, but light enough to where you can actually see that there's some color in it. to get any color if you're not getting it a 613 which is a blonde or a very heavy blonde is to bleach the hair before so you just take your time and it also depends on the kind of products that you use this 40 volume developer from Clairol is from Pennywise as well as the BW2 can you see it that good 
the BW2 is also from Pennywise. So you just mix them together until you get like a creamy paste. And you carefully distribute the bleach onto your wig or your hair. I know some people bleach their hair before it is they go in with a different color. Like if you're not into wigs, you can also bleach bundles, you can bleach weave, you can bleach extensions. I don't think you can bleach braids, but I'm really into wigs as you all can tell. So I decided to bleach that. So I'm just making sure that it gets into a creamy paste. It'll just take some time for me to keep mixing as you can tell. You get it into a nice creamy thick paste and you just distribute it onto the hair. It really doesn't take that long. The hardest part is actually applying the bleach evenly depending on how you do it. Some people like to ombre, which means you would just go from like probably the natural color of the hair which is like a dark brown and then they would allow it to go a little bit lighter and then at the tips at the edges like the lightest but I'm not really aiming for that this time I just really wanted to get a nice kind of honey brown color or even a chocolate brown color I haven't decided how long I'm keeping it for but yeah I just need to switch up the colors and as you can already tell I'm not sure if the camera is properly picking it up but you can actually see that the color is starting to lift so that means that we are achieving the color that we want or at least a lighter color than it already is so i really advise you to get one of these brushes i got this at pennywise i think it was about seven or eight dollars it helps you to properly distribute the hair sorry not the hair the bleach throughout the hair so you can like use this to kind of part a little bit the end of it and then you just take some bleach and you put it in between the areas so it doesn't look scanty or like any hair is like missing parts of bleach you don't have like a big chunk of like a light brown and then all of a sudden it's like looking dark like okay what happened here <laughs> so uh, yeah that's basically what i'm doing this could take like about half an hour to 45 minutes depending on how light you want the color to go but i'm not really picky about the color as long as it gets lighter <laughs> that's the plan Wash 
shampoo and conditioner. This is the Moisture Rich and the Smooth and Silky because of course we're dealing with curly hair. As you all know, curly hair, curly hair loves moisture. That texture just sucks up that moisture and makes it just look so rich. If you don't use like products that love, you know, that give moisture, guess what? The thing is going to be very dry and crunchy. And since we're already using like bleach, we don't want it to look like that. So this combo is really, really good. If you've looked at any of my Pennywise hauls, you all know I live and breathe for a trust me combo. So let's wash it out. Before we wash it out, sorry, let me show you what the color is looking like. It is absolutely gorgeous. show you what the color is looking like ah, I know it looks like a big sack but this is the color as you all can tell it is definitely so much brighter than it started so let's go wash it out and I'll be back to show you what it looks like okay guys so this is how the wig turned out oh my god so you can see the honey brown curls don't worry by tomorrow <clears throat> sorry tomorrow please god i'm gonna be wearing it and therefore you'll get to see how it really looks let's hope and pray that the weather is like cooperating with us but yeah this is what it looks like so from the initial color to this i think we got into a very pretty color so i'm pretty much pleased and that's the color right through as you can tell i still left a little bit of the natural color kind of peeking through because i didn't want it too too bright to you know add a little brava room <laughs> a little spice into it so i'm hoping that you all enjoyed this video and this really nice and easy quick tutorial stay tuned tomorrow please go to see how it is and this looks on me i'm gonna style it and whip it up to you all so if it is you did enjoy this tutorial and you learned something new or you just love seeing you know a little switch up of color because from this color i can actually go to another color i can go even brighter See you in my next one. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate, appreciate you all so much. Love you all. See you in my next one tomorrow.